All right, solving a quadratic equation using square roots. Um, just one little information is that when you're using this method, there will always be two solutions. One will be positive and one will be negative. All right. In other words, it will be the same numbers, but it will be a positive, like positive two-thirds and negative two-thirds, or positive three or negative three. Uh, or what are, this value here will be the same, one will be positive, one will be negative. All right, so to solve a quadratic equation using a square root is you notice here there's only one term that has a variable, and it happens to be a square. In other words, the variable is a square. Nothing else, they're all constants. Right? So if you have that, then you can use this method. All right? So what you want to do is you want to isolate the square. In other words, get this term, because it has the variable, by itself. All right? That's the first step. So that means i got to subtract 3 from both sides. That gives me negative 12. All right, so let me write this down here. Negative 5x squared equals negative 12. All right. I'm still isolating, all right? I'm still isolating the square, all right? I just did one step. Now, the next step is I have to get rid of this because I want the x squared, the variable in the square by itself. So this is negative 5 times x squared, so that means i got to divide both sides by negative 5. So negative 5 by negative is positive. You can just write it as 12 over 5. All right, now, after I isolate the square, then I take the square root, all right? So I will take the square root of both sides. All right? The square root of x squared, that's the same thing saying x times x. I want the square root of that. Well, that gives me x. So the square root and the square are inverses of each other. In other words, they cancel each other out. So you're just left with x. So I got the square root of 12 over 5. All right, now we have to simplify. That's what the previous videos were on, simplifying. So here, I pull apart negative 12 over radical 5. Well, radical 12, I can rewrite as square root of 4 times 3. So that becomes 2 radical 3, because square root of 4 is 2. 3 you can't, so you keep it inside, over radical 5. I'm still not done because I have a radical in the denominator. So I have to rationalize the denominator. So I got to multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 5. So now I get 2 square root, because these two are in both radicals, so that means I can multiply them. And remember the shortcut, since radical, I'm multiplying it by itself, it's just that number. And now I am finished. Right, so that is the process. Now, since I took the square root, at the beginning here, I should be putting a plus and minus. It should be a plus and minus all the way through. Right. So really, I have a positive 2 radical 15 over 5 and a negative 2 radical 15 over 5. So there are my two solutions. So all we're going to do is examples. Okay, first step, isolate. So I want to get this by itself. So first thing I do is got add. You always want to add or subtract first. So here I'm adding. So 42 plus 6 is 48. Divide by 4. It's just like solving a linear equation, except you just the variable has a square to it. All right? So what makes it different is the last step. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, so I'm left with x squared equals 48 divided by 4 is 12. Now I can take the square root, and when I do that, the square root and the square cancel, so I'm just left with x plus and minus square root of 12. And all I do now is simplify. So I keep the plus and minus. Square root 12, that's what, 4 times 3. So keep the plus and minus. All right, so this becomes square root of 4 times square root of 3. 
equals plus and minus. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 3 is not a perfect square, so we just leave it. So my answer is positive negative 2 radical 3. There are two solutions here. All right. So you can leave your answers like this if you want, but on the SATs possibly, or even on my tests, that if this was multiple choice, I would probably have my solutions written like this. Okay. They actually be pulled apart. So make sure that you understand that this is the same as this. Right. And I do not care which method, you, how you want to write your answers, as long as you understand that positive and negative 2 radical 3 is the same as 2 radical 3 and negative 2 radical 3. All right, let's get this, isolate that. So first thing we do, we gotta do any addition and subtraction. Here I have to add two to both sides. All right, here I gotta get rid of the six. So this is divide by six, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by six. Make it 12. Take the square root, because that now cancel out. So now since I took the square root, put the plus and minus, and I got radical 12. Now we just simplify. All right, so this now becomes plus or minus square root of 4 times 3, which is plus or minus square root of 4 times the square root of 3 equals plus or minus 2 square root of 3. And again, just let you know that your answer means this as well. So either way, you can write your solutions. All right. All right, now you can try these three problems. All right, so go ahead, um, pause. And once you pause, do these three. And once you're done, hit play. And you can check your work. Or you can do the first one, hit play, check your work, then pause it, do the second one then pause it and then do the third one. It's up to you how you want to do it. So I'll go ahead and pause and try these three. All right, so let's look at number one. Well, this is already isolated, so we can just go ahead and take the square root of both sides. So x equals plus and minus the square root of 64. Now we simplify. You notice here, this is the perfect square, so you're gonna get positive and negative eight. Or you can write as eight and negative eight. All right, number two, add a nine to both sides. So now I get x squared is equal to 25. Square root of both sides. So that gives me x is equal to plus and minus the square root of 25, which in turn gives me five. Or you can write as five and negative five. Number three, Subtract 7 from both sides. You got 4x squared is equal to what, uh, six, 16. Divide both sides by 4. So you get now x squared is equal to 4. Take the square root plus or minus square root of 4. And now simplify. So you can have that as an answer or 2 and negative 2 as an answer. Either way is fine. 